Our lesson for today is called all kinds of crops. Let's go over some vocabulary words. Our first word is edible. Say edible. Edible means fit to eat. Our next word is grains. Say grains. Grains are plants that have seeds that are used to make food. And our last word is produce. Say produce. Produce are the parts of plants that we eat. We've already learned about food products that come from animals. We talked about how cows give us milk, about how chickens give us eggs, and pigs give us pork. So now we're going to learn about the food that comes from crops grown on farms. I want you to listen carefully to learn more about where some of your favorite foods come from. And remember, not all farmers raise animals. Some farmers grow crops or produce. All kinds of crops. In the last several read alouds, you learned a lot about different kinds of animals that might live on a farm and the things they need. You've seen that on my farm there are cows, chickens, pigs, and sheep. I spend a lot of time taking care of the animals, providing them with food and shelter, protecting them, and getting milk, eggs, wool, or meat. I have mentioned before that I plant and harvest crops of wheat and corn on my farm, some of which I feed to my animals. I also raise these crops as well as others like cucumbers, beans, and carrots for my family and other people to eat. This picture shows some of the kinds of foods that different farmers grow. Can you name the fruits and vegetables that you see in this picture? Take a minute to name some of the fruits and vegetables that you see in this picture. Okay. I don't grow all these things on my farm. Grocery stores buy fruits and vegetables from many different farmers so that when you go to the store, you have a wide variety of fruits and vegetables from which to choose. You will find these fruits and vegetables in the produce section at the grocery store. Most produce is grown on a farm. The various fruits and vegetables are brought to the store after they are harvested or picked from the plants that produce them. The nice thing about vegetables is that you can eat as many as you want. Nobody is going to tell you not to eat carrots, green beans, cabbage, celery, green peppers, or lettuce. And let's not forget broccoli. I love to eat vegetables and I hope you do too. You should also eat at least two or three fruits every day. Did you know tomatoes are actually fruits? I like to pick fresh tomatoes and eat them like you eat an apple. Mmm, so good. One crop that I grow is field corn. I use most of the field corn that I grow to make feed for the animals on my farm. But I also grow sweet corn and sell some of it at the local market each summer. Because many people like to eat corn too. The farmer who lives next to me grows potatoes on her farm. This picture shows a crop of potato plants. But even if you look closely at the picture, you won't see any potatoes. That's because the potatoes are actually part of the roots of the potato plants. So where do you think the potatoes are? If they're part of the roots, they have to be underground. I'm sure that you remember that roots grow underground, so the potatoes are under the soil. All plants have roots. Plants use roots to take in water and nutrients from the soil and to keep them planted firmly in the earth through wind and rain. Not all plants have edible roots, but potato plants sure do. Edible means that it is fit to eat. Farmers have to dig up the potatoes in order to harvest them. Can you think of different ways that you like to eat potatoes? Do you like baked potatoes or mashed potatoes? And did you know that potato chips and french fries start out as potatoes too? Carrots, radishes, and beets are all root vegetables as well. 
How do you think farmers harvest these vegetables? In addition to growing fruits and vegetables, farmers may grow other types of crops. You may remember that I also grow wheat that I use to feed the animals on my farm. You might be surprised to learn that people also eat wheat, though we don't eat it in exactly the same form as farm animals do. Once the wheat is harvested, it is then processed and prepared in different ways before people eat it. Some farmers also grow other grains like oats or rice that are harvested and processed for people to eat. Grains are plants that have seeds that are used to make food. If you eat cereal for breakfast each morning, you are probably eating wheat, oats, or rice grains. The next time you eat cereal, look at the box that it came in to find out what kind of grain you are eating. My breakfast cereals are made with whole grains, which are healthy. Sometimes the grain is made into flour. The flour is then used in different recipes to make foods like bread, muffins, cookies, and even spaghetti. I am proud to be one of the farmers who grows crops that become food for you. Wow, so most of our food comes from crops or farm animals. So the next time you are eating, think about what it is that you are eating. Are you eating an oat? Are you eating grains? Are you eating something that comes from an animal? Think about it. Go ahead and answer the questions.